a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. GKN GKN PLC is a British multinational automotive and aerospace components company headquartered in Redditch, Worcestershire. The company was formerly known as Guest, Keen and Nettlefields and can trace its origins back to 1759 and the birth of the Industrial Revolution. GKN is listed on the London Stock Exchange and is a constituent of the FTSE 100 Index. 1759-1900 the origins of GKN lie in the founding of the Dolis Ironworks in the village of Dolis, Merth Tidville, Wales, by Thomas Lewis and Isaac Wilkinson. John Guest was appointed manager of the works in 1767, having moved from Broseley. In 1786, John Guest was succeeded by his son, Thomas Guest, who formed the Dolis Iron Company with his son-in-law William Tate. Guest introduced many innovations, and the works prospered. Under Guest's leadership, alongside his manager John Evans, the Dolai Cyan Works gained the reputation of being one of the world's great industrial concerns. Though the Bessemer process was licensed in 1856, nine years of detailed planning and project management were needed before the first steel was produced. The company thrived with its new cost-effective production methods, forming alliances with the Concert Iron Company and Krupp. By 1857 G.T. Clark and William Menelaus, his manager, had constructed the Goat Mill, the world's most powerful rolling mill. By the mid-1860s, Clark's reforms had borne fruit in renewed profitability. Clark delegated day-to-day -day management to Menelaus, his trusteeship terminating in 1864 when ownership passed to Sir Ivor Guest. However, Clark continued to direct policy, in particular, building a new plant at the docks at Cardiff and vetoing a joint stock company. He formally retired in 1897. 1900-1966 On 9 July 1900, the Dolai Cyan Company and Arthur Keane's Patent Nut and Bolt Company merged to form Guest, Keane & Company Limited Nettlefields Limited, a leading manufacturer of fasteners, had been established in Smethwick, West Midlands in 1854 and was acquired in 1902 leading to the change of name to Guest, Keen, and Nettlefolds. In 1920 John Lycett and Company was acquired. Guest Keen Baldwins Steel production remained at the core of the company, but under increasing profit margin pressure. Resultantly in 1930, the company amalgamated its steel production business with that of rival Baldwins to form Guest Keen Baldwins which now held. In 1935 the company demolished the Cardiff Works to construct a new modern production facility on the same site, funded by an issue of debentures. Due to a resultant global shortage of pig iron, in 1937 the company fired up the single remaining blast furnace at Dolice. All of the sites were heavily bombed by the Nazi Luftwaffe during the war, and the required investment meant that all of these assets were nationalized as part of the 1951 Iron and Steel Act, resultantly becoming part of the Iron and Steel Corporation of Great Britain. However, GKN was still highly reliant on the supply of good quality steel, and so in 1954 negotiated from the Asset Realization Company the repurchase of key assets from ISC which were renamed Guest Keen Iron and Steel Company. In 1961 the company's name changed again to GKN Steel Company. Fasteners These mergers heralded half a century, in which GKN became a major manufacturer of screws, nuts, bolts and other fasteners. The company reflected the vertical integration fashionable at the time embracing activities from coal and ore extraction, and iron and steel making, to manufacturing finished goods. Crankshafts. After the First World War it became apparent that Britain was likely to follow France, and more recently the United States in developing a large-scale auto industry. GKN acquired another fastener manufacturer, F. W. Cotterill Ltd. In 1919, Cotterill already owned a subsidiary named J. W. Garrington, which specialized in forgings, and it was the forgings produced at the Garrington Darleston plant later supplemented by a large plant at Bromsgrove, that enabled GKN to become a major supplier of crankshafts. Connecting rods, half shafts and numerous smaller forged components to the UK auto industry during and beyond the period of massive expansion between the two world wars.
pressed steel wheels. In 1920, GKN purchased steel company John Lysett and their subsidiary, Joseph Sankey & Sons Limited after training as an engineer. Sankey founded a major tea tray producer. A pioneer motorist, he became personal friends with Herbert Austin, resultantly becoming a supplier of sheet steel components to the industry. By 1914, the company's customers for sheet steel bodies included Austin, Daimler, Humber, Rover, Star, and Argyle. As a result of complaints from motor manufacturers about the propensity of the then wooden wheels on early cars to disintegrate on the slightest encounter with any roadside curb, using his experience from tea trays Sankey developed an alternate pressed steel wheel. Production started in 1908, with customers including Herbert Austin and, later, William Morris. In addition to his original factory, at Bilston a new plant was established near Wellington, Shropshire, which was devoted to wheel production. By the time the business was acquired by GKN, the plant was supplying wheels to many UK manufacturers. By 1969 the highly automated Wellington plant was turning out over 5.5 million wheels a year at a maximum rate of approximately 30,000 per day. The business also undertook other automotive-related works, including supplying the chassis for the Triumph Herald and its derivatives. They were also, at this time building the versatile GKN-developed GKN FV432 armoured personnel carrier. Nationalisation of Steel the post-war government nationalised the steel industry under Iron and Steel Corporation of Great Britain. The Act of Parliament of 1949 took effect in February 1951. In 1951, a new subsidiary blade research and development was formed at Aldridge, Staffordshire, to produce aero-engine turbine blades. Following a fall in demand for turbine blades in the late 1950s, the Buddy factory switched to producing constant velocity joints and drive shafts for vehicles. In 1953 Britain's steel industry was denationalised by a new government. But that was to last only 14 years. 1966-1991 At the end of April 1965 the recently elected Labour government published a white paper proposing the nationalisation of 90% by output of Britain's steel industry. GKN Steel was transferred to public ownership at the end of July 1967. Driveline Beginning a program of diversification into the automotive field in 1966 GKN bought D's much larger competitor, Burfield Limited, which held the great bulk of the British market for CVJs, constant velocity joints, and was a company that, since 1938 had incorporated both the Sheffield-based Laycock Engineering later best known as a post-war overdrive manufacturer, and Hardy Spicer Limited of Birmingham, England, also a manufacturer of constant velocity joints. Historically, such joints had few applications, even following the improved design proposed by Alfred H. Zeppa in 1936. However, in 1959, Alec Isigonis had developed the revolutionary mini motor car that relied on the Hardy Spicer joints for its front wheel drive technology. The massive expansion in the exploitation of front wheel drive in the 1970s and 1980s led to the acquisition of other similar businesses and a 43% share of the world market by 2002. On the death of founder Tony Van der Velle in 1967, GKN acquired the lucrative Maidenhead based Vandevel bearing manufacturer that was at the time already exporting more than 50% of its output to overseas vehicle manufacturers. This was part of a larger trend for GKN that during this period, under its managing director Raymond Brooks, was working to reduce its dependence on UK automaker customers at a time when the domestic industry was seen to be stumbling. In response to bewildering government interference and fiscal short-sightedness, with British new car registrations in the first four months of 1969 a massive 33 per cent down on the corresponding period of the previous year. As a result of the large number of mergers, Abram Games was commissioned to develop a new corporate identity in 1969, when the distinctive angular GKN symbol was created and the new company colors of blue and white introduced. In 1974, GKN acquired Kirkstall Forge Engineering, a manufacturer of truck axles in Leeds. GKN Steel 
By 1968, GKN Steel had recreated its downline business, and then started to build its upline business through aggressive building of a steel stock holding business. In 1972 it acquired Firth Cleveland, a hot and cold rolled strip business with a downline in sintered products, reinforcement steels, wire fasteners and garage equipment. In 1973 it exchanged the remaining assets of Dulles along with £30 million in cash to the nationalised British Steel Corporation, in return for the previously nationalised Brimble Steel Works. After acquiring steel stock holding competitor Miles Druss & Co., by 1974 the company had created a full integrated steel production and manufacturing business. However, by the late 1980s, with extensive Japanese competition in both the axle and constant velocity joint business, the company started selling off its steel and fasteners businesses. By 1991, it had disposed of all of the assets within these two business lines. This included the closure of its Bilston factory in the West Midlands in 1989. The factory buildings were demolished soon after, but the offices were not demolished until 1995. 1991 Present Having disposed of its steel production asset, in 1986 the company renamed itself GKN, focused then solely on military vehicles, aerospace, and industrial services. In 1994 it acquired the helicopter manufacturing business of Westland Aircraft. In 1998 the armoured vehicle business was sold to Alvis plc, and subsequently incorporated into Alvis Vickers Limited in July 2000 Finn Mechanica, and GKN agreed to merge their respective helicopter subsidiaries to form Augusta Westland. In 2004 GKN completed the sale of its 50% shareholding in Augusta Westland to Finn Mechanica. In November 1995 Associate Dana Corporation bought GKN's Axel Group. At that time GKN held 34% of the world market for constant velocity joints. At the same time GKN took larger shares of its other driveline joint ventures with Dana in Brazil, Argentina, and Colombia. From the late 1990s, the company built a major global business in powder metallurgy, which operates as the GKN Powdered Metallurgy Group. In 2002 GKN acquired a significant stake in and by 2004 took over the whole concern of the Japanese manufacturer of differentials and driveline torque systems Tochigi Fuji Sangyo PK, based in Tochigi Shi, Prefecture Tochigi. GKN went on to acquire Monitor Aerospace Corp in Amityville, New York and Precision Machining in Wellington, Kansas in 2006. Part of the Airbus plant at Filton near Bristol for £150 million in 2008 and all of Jet Rag's axle business and axle manufacturing facilities in 2011. In 2011 GKN Aerospace Engineering Services Division was acquired by Quest Global. In July 2012 GKN agreed to acquire the Swedish aerospace components manufacturer Volvo Aero from AB Volvo for £633 million. Following Kevin Smith's retirement, at the end of 2011, Nigel Stein took over as chief executive on 1 January 2012. In 2015 GKN acquired Dutch aerospace company Fokka Technologies, headquartered in Papendrecht, the Netherlands. In January 2018 Melrose Industries made a hostile bid for the company valuing it at £8 billion. The bid was accepted by the shareholders of GKN on 29 March 2018. The bid however was not welcomed by GKN workers and unions who expressed concern over long-term projects which could be affected, fearing new owners may only look at short-term projects and the possibility of asset stripping. In support of this thinking, UK Business Secretary Greg Clark said he would review Melrose's possible acquisition of GKN on public interest grounds, as he strongly defended the UK government's approach to the takeover bid. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?